Moving videos from one YouTube channel to another, I'll show you in five steps. Okay, now if you want to move your entire video catalog from one channel to another, stop now. This is not the video for you. But if you want to move some of your videos from one channel to another, this is your video. Before we jump in, there's a few items I want to make sure you know about. This is not going to move your views, your subscriber, your comments, the analytics. This will not automatically move any of your video details, including title, descriptions, thumbnails, tags, cards, and I can go on and on. Basically, all that's going to be extra work. This is a manual process, so I hope you don't have a lot of videos to move. But five steps, here we go, let's jump in. Okay, before we get started, you're going to want two browser windows open. So open up your browser in one, log in, navigate to your channel, hit the, the manage video button, then open a second browser, but this is how I want you to open it. If you're using Chrome, it's called uh, incognito mode. So go ahead and hit that new and then incognito mode. And some browsers may, it might be called private browsing. You'll want two. So in that second one that you just opened up, go ahead and log in to uh, the new account that you're going to be transferring the videos to. So you got one where you're transferring the videos from, you got another one where you're transferring the videos to. Now you have two separate windows open, that's going to make it a whole lot easier when we jump into some of the later steps. So let's, here we go. Let's start with step number one. We're going to download the video from your current channel. So you're on your channel, you hit the manage videos, you should be on the content page. Select video, the video that you want to download and then go over to more actions and select download. Here's a little gotcha. You can only download one video at a time. Once you start, once you select that second video, it's grayed out, the download link's grayed out, you can't do it. So one video at a time. So go ahead and hit that download button. Now it's going to be downloaded to your downloads directory. You're going to open up that window. You should already be logged in. I told you to already do that. Uh, manage videos, content. So now this is the new channel that you're going to uh, push that video to. Press create and then upload your videos. Two steps, we're already done. See, we're halfway there. Here comes the long and tedious part. Step three, that's copying all the details. So what I suggest is that you've got two windows, your two windows side by side, and you're just gonna be copying from one window to the next. Start with the title, select all, copy, new one, paste. Same with the description. Select all, copy, new window, paste. If you've done a, a custom thumbnail, that should already be here. Look, you can click on the three dots and then select download. That's going to download uh, the, the thumbnail to your computer. You can copy all the tags at one time by clicking this button here. And then in the new window, pasting, boom, there you go. Make sure your uh, language, your recording date, location, license, all that are updated. Now you have to uh, recreate the end screens and the cards. So the best thing to do is just, you know, tap on the end screen button here on the one that you're copying from. Make sure that you have them, what it is, what uh, maybe playlist that you selected. Recreate it on the other one. Same thing with the cards. Click, tap the card icon, see where at in the movie that these cards appear. Same thing on the new video. Then on your new one, once you've updated the end screen of the cards, your thumbnail, description, tags, all the nine yards, you got all that over there. We're going to change the visibility to public. Now your new video is published. Didn't take that long, did it? Last step, let's go back to your old one. And all we're going to do is we're going to change the original video, the visibility from published to unlisted. The reason you want to use unlisted is because you don't want to break any links to your videos that already exist. If you shared or somebody else has shared your video or embedded your video someplace, you don't want those links to break. You still want to get credit for those. Uh, you can do that by just changing it to unlisted. All those links will still work. Easy, quick tutorial here. I didn't want to take uh, longer than we need to to do this. I uh, hope you found this video uh, useful. If you did, I'd appreciate a, a thumbs up on that. I'm going to be posting other how-tos and reviews uh, in the technology space. So. Uh, if these interest you, go ahead and click subscribe so you'll be notified when I upload more videos. Obviously, you can hit that bell notification button and uh, you'll be alerted when the new video is posted. Appreciate all that. Talk to you guys later.